Hey guys, just in uh, Dongatapu, gonna drive to the wharf and uh, book tickets for tomorrow. So, here we go. Hopefully, the camera is okay. Put a phone on the stand in the car. Just going through, to be honest, I can't remember where we're going through. Uh, I think it's Palfanga. Let's go for a drive through the back streets instead of through the city. Well, instead of through the town, it's only a very small town in Nukalofa, so it's not like a massive city with skyscrapers or anything like that. It's just buildings like this, but yeah. Take a road that BA took me through um, the other day. Let's see if I can remember it. Shouldn't be too hard. And the thing about um, giving directions over here is pretty. You gotta know the places. You gotta know the areas. Because um, if you don't, it's pretty hard to figure it out. Because when you they try to explain directions to you they'll explain it uh, in a way where oh do you know this area uh, that building um, that two-story white building or uh, on the corner there's this and that so most of their directions will be by markings sometimes by roads but not very often uh, and that's what I've had to figure out here and I, I'm pretty new for the main island right I mean I, I travel around but I don't know the areas the names of places I know the areas uh, meaning I know how to get to places but I don't specifically know uh, the names of those areas so So that's uh, how difficult it is to find areas around here. Um, I'm just taking a shortcut straight through to the Ewa Wharf. And uh, BA showed me this area because I know, sort of, because uh, when we went to Janice's parents' place, um, went through this area and her parents' place in Malfunga, just down down from the wharf, uh, from the Ewa wharf, so that's how I know this, this area a little bit. This road used to be all rocks, potholes and everything, still not that great, but at least they put tar down, still potholes, but yeah. You see, or I, I guess you can see vehicles and whatnot on the side of the roads. Um, they're damaged or they're forgotten about, or there's always broken down vehicles around these days. And they're all over the place. Um, and Tonga, over in Tonga Tapu here, it's pretty flat. There's no hills, so to speak. No mountains like Ewa, where you have to climb up the, the roads. These ones are, or drive up the roads. These ones are pretty, it's pretty level here in Tonga. And that's why if a massive tidal wave comes, it comes straight in. Um, there's not much barriers to keep, keep the tidal wave out. Like it was, it was pretty good in that, that, that way. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out where I am. I think. Genesis house is just past this. This is an old, beautiful fencing years ago on the side here, on the right hand side. It's a beautiful, big, massive two story house, or whatever it was back in the days, but. No one's looking after it, it's just gone to rot. There's just 
nothing in there anymore. Oh, this is Janice's um, parents' house, so I have to turn this way. And there's on the left. Wolf is just down the road. Yeah. So I didn't have to come through all the traffic. Because um, there's one big main road, right? Uh, coming into town from all the... I don't know if it's the west or south or whatever it is, but so people come to school and to work and they come through that main main road and it just queues up in the morning. They need to find another another way of getting a better access to, to the city or to the town, town centre. But yeah. That's I think a long way off, long, long way off. Which way am I going to see? I'm going left. Yes, I'm going left. Left and right. Where the little boats are for what do you call it? Fishing, fishing boats. They have fishing charters here as well. Turn right into here where the Malau office is so I get my tickets and everything sorted before I do anything else and make sure the boat's going tomorrow and ask where I can put my box so it doesn't get stuff because it doesn't get stolen out of it. So this is the Malau office right here. I'm gonna go get my ticket sorted box and the vehicle all right guys bye for now Hi family, finally did this part. Sane came around today to stay with me because Dad's staying in Tonga till Friday. So yeah, we did this together, did a bit yesterday and then the other half she did help me today. So I've just got a truck, just went and got a truck and um, he's just gone in now, that's the truck there, just behind the fence. The box is going to get on that, they said it was ready, paperwork's all sorted and now after that we got to take it to the Ewa Wharf, so the Ewa Wharf, get it to there, that's already paid uh, to get it on the boat, the boat's going 10 o'clock tomorrow. On their website, 6 o'clock, he said 8, and then he goes, oh, nah, 10. I'm not too sure. I'll double check with them because we don't want to be late for that. Uh, but I'll get the box over there. I'm not too sure if I put it in the Onimato yard for now just to be safe uh, overnight. But we'll see. We'll see from there. But, yeah, I'll um, go over 
I'll do a separate video on how much it actually costs to get a box uh, especially from the main island to Ewa um, everything added up and uh, yeah alright then guys take it easy and God bless eh So just here at uh, the Ewa Wharf, this is just going to go on the uh, Malau tomorrow and they'll put this box on the, on the boat tonight and um, if it rains he said um, they'll, they'll get it out of the rain so that's good this uh, guy got it to the wharf over here from the customs for around about $40 so that's good and uh, yeah, so happy with that. Everything's going to plan. Yeah, there's the air wolf. That's the office over there for the Malau. Onimato's on the other side, and then the Mamapa's on the other side of that. So I made sure that I got a crane truck because the forklift for the Malau, they don't have it at the wharf today. They got it on the boat, so that's why I got the crane one. But that's all right. Pretty cool. That has been there forever. Had some guys working on that. I'm not too sure if it's finished or not, but yeah. That boat, catamaran. All right, guys. Uh, that's all the jobs I have to do today. Get this here at the wharf, everything's paid for. Next is getting on the boat tomorrow. Getting on the boat tomorrow and then getting it from the boat to or the wharf in Ewa to to home. So that's the next part of it. Alright guys, take care and God bless. Alright guys, so I finally got the uh the box down to the wharf that's all done sorted paid for and uh, now oh yeah and also I <laughs> got down to the wharf and there's a guy from New Zealand who follows me on YouTube uh, his name's Leo Tongan fella he's come back for Mother's Day and Father's Day for in Ewa so that's why we just caught up there at the wharf he, he says he follows me on YouTube that's awesome uh, he says man he can't wait to come back like if he, if he had the chance he'll come back but anyway, uh, yeah, it's amazing. If, uh, this is uh, two people now that have uh, come up to me and said they follow me on YouTube. It's uh, actually a, a blessing, I guess, in a, in a way. Follow my my channel. But yeah, but if you don't follow my channel, follow it, subscribe, and uh, like. Eh? Hey guys, just uh, you know, help that algorithm. Algorithm, as they say. I don't know, whatever it does. I'm not that uh, tech hardy. So yeah, now, I don't know, Sephora's asked me what am I doing for the rest of the day, I'm, I've, I'm free for the rest of the day now, um, yeah, now uh, one more thing I've got to organise is a vehicle over in Elwa, so I'll probably ring someone over there, get a vehicle over in Elwa, to be able to take the box to to where you call it take the box to home so that's probably just the last thing I need to do so I can be stress free and uh, just chill getting a little bit low in diesel but I've got a little bit of cash there I'm, su I'm sure this this will make it to Ewa but um, yeah getting low on funds so uh, I just got one more day, one more day. Thanks for Ni and BA for helping me out, taking me in um, for the couple of days that I'm here. So thank, shout out to them. Thanks to BA, my cousin, and Janice. They always help me out every time I'm in uh, Main Island. Also, uh, when I did my land, got that signed. Oh, got the. It's called Tala Api. Eh? 
So you've got to reapply for your for your own land if um your father passes away for over a year, and so you've got to do a dala api. Uh, reapply for your land because the government uh, holds your land after one year. So I wanted to get that sorted, so I got that sorted. Um, they just got to do some work to it before everything gets approved. Um, but my, from my half, my behalf, yep, that that's done. So that's awesome. Yeah, so if anyone over there, sort of, uh, if their parents pass away or whatever and they've, you've got land, your dad's got land over here, it takes you one year, a, a lot easier process, just straight handle, hand over. I'm sure there's a, be a bit of a fee, but I don't think there's that much. And um, I couldn't do that because I was stuck in Australia over with the COVID, but they don't take that into, into consideration. So, oh well, you know, it's Tonga. So it only cost me $80, but it's $80, right? That's a box of chicken or whatever. $80 worth of diesel. Uh, but yeah. All right, guys. I'll leave it there for now. Take it easy and God bless, eh? Hey guys, just over here at the palace, as you can see, just in the corner over here. It's a nice little spot right here, actually, down near the palace. It's, um, it's got the sea breeze, and it's just a beautiful area. And you got the seafront there. And that's what I'm looking at. So it's just a beautiful area. I just parked over here, over there. And um, there used to be um, like all these, uh, what do you call it, traps for fish in there all over here, but not anymore, I don't think. I don't think you're allowed to fish here anymore. But uh, yeah, they've got some traps on the far side, but I think you have to have a license. But yeah, they've just paved all of this. It was pretty cool. I reckon that's awesome. Palace is there. Doing a bit of work, cleaning everything up. I reckon um, Tonga is just going to get better and better with this kind of stuff. Uh, I cleaned it up a bit along the seafront. This wasn't here a year ago, right? So that's good. Really good. Alright guys. Bye for now.